I put $140 million into JP Morgan and they treated me like shit. So if JP Morgan Chase is treating me like that, how they treating the rest no, of y'all? That's outrageous. Shoot, yeah. I, I, am I moved $140 million into JP Morgan. And I said, I want to talk to Jamie Dimon. Maybe Jamie Dimon will let me in on some deal Kanye flow. is winning and God is indeed on his side. Is this what he meant when he said he believes everyone who unfairly cut him off will regret Telebri at a certain point? More details emerge about JP Morgan Chase, the bank which was the first one to cut off Kanye, claiming he was anti-Semitic. If I look at the ongoing situations, of course, if I look, if I talk about this matter you exactly know what i'm doing if i talk about balenciaga adidas and of course jp morgan chess bank obviously these people came out and branded kanye and semitic they came out and cut him off and for the issue of balenciaga of course they have been receiving a lot of troubles ever since they separated from kanye and if we look at adidas obviously they have been coming out and pleading to kanye they want him back on board things are not moving on well and if i look at this bank right here i will tell you it's also facing a lot of issues which are not really good they are now being exposed because of grown-up trafficking they are being dragged to court and if i look at such issues coming out emerging more so when kanye is no longer working with them or maybe at a certain point they expected him to go down they expected kanye to be branded all sorts of names and basically for his career to end and for everyone to be coming out being against him and all but ever since these people separated from kanye they have been receiving a lot of things which are not really good their brands are going down and basically their reputation is also at stake i'm going to be digging deep and bringing you all the details i'm going to be discussing each and everything and please you shouldn't miss out on all this if you haven't joined us please subscribe on our channel hit on that notification bell so that you can always get updated every time i bring something new so with so much discontent, Candice Owens took it to Twitter last year and announced that Ye was officially kicked out by JP Morgan Chase Bank without any valid reason. She was questioning about this, wondering why they would treat Ye so unfairly. You can look at that letter right there. That is what was directed to Kanye. And I remember Candice coming out and exposing this bank. And according to her, she took it to Twitter and she was like, you know what? This is a total discontent meant we are not even understanding what is really going on how can you come out and cut off someone without a valid reason and have passed through that letter we saw exactly what was included they didn't give kanye any reason as to why they were ending their partnership Candice also revealed that they had sent a letter to confirm that Ye had until late November last year to find another place for his Yeezy brand to bank. You can just imagine the disorganization and effect all that had on Ye. I mean, everything was just a mess. I remember Kanye also coming out and talking about all that and he was like, you know what, I've been working with JP Morgan Chase Bank for $140 million and the JP Morgan and they treated me like shit a long period of time and basically what they did was not really right as professionals they would have sat me down and of course gave me a valid reason as to why they were doing what they were exactly doing right now we thought that since they came out and cut off kanye branding him anti-semitic they are so righteous but seems that's not the case jp morgan chess bank former executive is being exposed for his involvement in human trafficking and seems the bank well knew all about it we are talking about human trafficking this is something big because at a certain point we thought that okay this bank this bank came out in the public and cut off kanye oh my god they are very very righteous oh my god maybe they are coming out performing according to their ethics and probably they were coming out and shedding kanye in all that okay these people are involved in human trafficking and they are some lawsuits being 
being directed to them and possibly how can they even come out and tell us anything right now because everyone has been coming out and talking about these people like okay these are the very people who combine themselves they have been coming out and bringing Kanye down they have been coming out and treating that guy unfairly but look at what they are involved in Reports indicate that the late New York financial Geoffrey Epstein sent images of young women to a former executive called Jace Staley at JP Morgan and shockingly the bank was aware of all these illegal and inappropriate actions but they did nothing about it all. They well knew and were in it as well. If I look at the ongoing situation, yes, this man used to work with this bank and basically maybe at a certain point i asked myself a lot of questions and i will i was like okay maybe it's only the executive who was well convenient with the ongoing situation maybe the bank didn't really know what was really going on but according to sources according to the lawsuit they are coming out with clear evidence they are coming out pointing at jp morgan chase bank and they are like you know what they funded it all they exactly knew about all sh these shady businesses and basically they didn't act accordingly so you can just imagine what they are going through right now jeffrey Epstein registered sexual offender and later on passed on by taking his own life in 2019 while awaiting for his trial in a New York jail. And this is the man who was coordinating with a certain executive who used to work with JP Morgan. So basically, if you look at his history, if you look at what he really used to do automatically, these are things which are totally off. And right now, the US Virgin Islands is is suing JP Morgan Chase Bank for facilitating Epstein's human trafficking across Florida and the US territory by providing him funds for all these activities and taking part in these illegal actions. Okay, these are the shady businesses that go on in Hollywood because this is a big bank and if I look at its status, oh my god, I was even very, very surprised about what I was reading but seems things are very, very clear yeah, they are coming out with a lot of evidence and if i look at the lawyers if i look at what they are doing they are like you know what that bank used to fund this human trafficking they used to pay all these women and possibly they were also benefiting from all these acts per lawsuit still jeffrey who was working hand in hand with jp morgan bank was once arrested in 2019 and faced federal charges for abusing underage girls for several years in exchange for money he also pleaded guilty in 2008 for similar charges involving minors in Florida. Per Virgin Islands, their legal team states that Jeffrey compensated all these girls by wiring them money from a JP Morgan account because maybe at a certain point they were going to come out and denied all these allegations. And if I look at what they are coming out with, of, of course, after this lawsuit being directed to the public and everyone getting to know about the ongoing issues this bank came out and denied everything and according to them they were like you know what we don't even really know about what is going on and we are not going to come to the public and say anything about it all but if you pass through the lawsuit automatically the lawyers are very very ready to bring all the evidence because they are very very sure that JP Morgan Chase Bank was involved in all this let me first read you about what they had to say about about all this they were like these women were used and trafficked during different intervals between at least 2003 and july 2019 and when jeffrey was arrested and later on jailed they received money and multiple payments in excess of one million dollars from the same account respectfully so maybe after this guy being jailed of course maybe he was connecting to all these people in this bank and basically all this money was being transferred and all these girls were being paid so you can just imagine the ongoing issue and though they are coming out to deny i will tell you all the evidence is just pointing on their side the lawsuit also states that 
JP Morgan Bank managed 55 separate accounts for Jeffrey under its private banking division, and Jess Stanley was the head of that division. He still exchanged about 1,200 emails from Jeffrey between 2008 and 2012, and that these two had also developed a very close friendship because of these illegal acts. So you, you can't tell me that one of the people who used to work with you and of course he had a very very big rank he used to run all this and basically this bank was not really aware of the ongoing situation i will tell you they knew exactly what was going on but they chose to keep silent they even didn't come out and act accordingly so you can just imagine what was really going on in addition to all that, the lawsuit has also made it clear that JP Morgan Bank had all the chances all the chances to cut ties with Jeffrey that was in 2006 and 2011 but they deliberately continued working with him let me first read you what it states here they are like JP Morgan knew early that Jeffrey was a high risk client but they decided at multiple times during their work relationship to continue servicing his accounts because of his wealth and connections with other high net worthy individuals so you can just imagine because if I look at the ongoing situation a lot of things have been happening about all these companies that came out and cut off Kanye and we are discovering a lot of things which they are involved in for some people can out and branding Kanye and Semitic for some people coming out and branding bra branding him and professional and that he was not ethical enough and all that okay if we look at all the things they are involved in I will tell you they cut off yeah unfairly and this is god paying them back i want to know what you really think about all this tell me what your, your opinions are because if you ask me i will tell you this is serious and possibly this bank is going to be facing some serious issues don't forget to subscribe to our channel 